Let's say we need to convert these photographs to email them, uh, reduce their size. Job done. We can see the original here was 2.38 megs and the new version only 429k. So that's ideal for, for that purpose. Let's take a look at another example. I recently reviewed uh, a, a microscope and it's really great. But one minor irritation is that the video format that it uses is a .avi and my video editing suite doesn't support that natively. So let's say we want to convert it to MP4. So now we have the version in MP4. Excellent. So what other tricks does this file converter have? Well, let's take a deeper look at it. So here we can see the website uh, where you can download this file converter and as always links in the description and um, we can see the supported formats for audio video image and documents i think you'll agree there's a very comprehensive set of uh, compatible input formats and a uh, good selection of uh, outputs one minor thing here if you're going to convert microsoft office say docx or whatever then you need to have office installed on on the machine but i find this effective preparing documents for people that don't have microsoft office or you don't know whether they do or not let's see how we can convert uh, a docx for example into say uh, a pdf as part of my Electronics for Beginners uh, playlist, I built this little Haku temperature controlled soldering iron. When I downloaded the manual, I was a little surprised to find that it was in uh, DocX and even some pictures in, uh, in an Excel spreadsheet, would you believe? So for example, if we click on the DocX and um, with the file converter say, let's convert that to a, a PDF file. Very quick to do. And here we can see the PDF and we have all our instructions so we could send that off to somebody who perhaps doesn't have office. Let's now take a look at some of the configuration options for this file converter. For use in the home my audio format of choice is is FLAC uh, but in the car perhaps to put more tracks on a mp3 player we want to convert our files to mp3. If we open with the file converter, we can see the options that we have uh, by default. But if we hit configure presets, then we have the option to modify all of the presets to uh, suit our particular needs. So, for example, if I convert it to MP3 uh, using the preset, it's going to be at 190 kilobits um, variable bit rate. Perhaps I would like a little bit higher quality. If we copy that preset and add a, a new one based on that, we will give it a new name. And the highest bit rate that we can go to here is 245 kilobits. So we'll call it 245K. We can leave the rest as it is. So now when we go back into our file here, we now have the option to convert that to MP3 at uh, the higher bit rate. So now we can see the converted file here. And if we check, it actually, I thought 245 was a strange number, 256 kilobits it's ended up at, which uh, sounds good to me, quite literally. What other things can we do if we open the configure presets. We might, for example, want to have a different JPEG setting. Note that you also have the opportunity here to rotate the uh, output image. That can be especially useful if you're, you're sent something that's upside down. And you also have the ability here to move the original file to an archive or in fact delete the original file should you wish to do that and of course you can change the output quality here so the, there are many things that you can play around with to, to tune the file conversion to suit your needs 
We've got a little bit of information here about the application. It's only available at the moment in English, French and Portuguese, but um, again, link in the description. If you go to the GitHub repository, then there are instructions there if you were going to be kind enough to convert this into your own language and uh, help the project along. And that GitHub page also available from this link here. In summary, I'm going to find this file converter very useful and I hope you do too. It's, uh, it's strange. It seems obvious to have it in the context menu within File Explorer and uh, one wonders why Microsoft didn't include something like this uh, from, from the get-go.